Hello and thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. OS Forensics is a feature-rich, versatile, and robust computer forensic solution used by a wide variety of professionals and organizations worldwide. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform simple file decryption on several password-protected files using OS Forensics. OSF supports decryption of several types of files such as Microsoft Office files, so your .doc, .docx, XLS, your PowerPoint files, uh, etc. We can decrypt Adobe PDF files, archive files such as your zips, rars, or 7z, and even open office files, uh, ODT, OTT, ODFs, etc. Our file decryption feature is located within the passwords module that you will find located midways down in the workflow of OS Forensics. You can also access this feature by clicking on the documents passwords icon located here on the start menu. If you clicked on the passwords module located in the workflow you'll need to click on the last tab on the screen here which is titled decryption and password recovery so once here you will notice that the interface is incredibly simple and straightforward just like the majority of features in OS forensics from here you'll simply navigate to the encrypted file and choose open And once again, you can also access files outside of the case by clicking on the blue hyperlink here that says Other Devices Available. So if you just had an encrypted file somewhere or that someone sent to you to decrypt, you don't have to necessarily uh, have to add it to a case in order to utilize this feature. Now, once you have added a file, you will notice that you are presented now with several different uh, dictionary options for you to choose from to use in your brute force attack against that password. Now, a brute force attack is basically a trial and error process used by OS Forensics and other decryption tools to decode encrypted data such as passwords in this case. So. Uh, a quick look at these different dictionaries that you have by default available to you. Uh, you'll see the common passwords and now uh, this is a list of commonly used passwords created from statistical lists and published word uh, passwords lists. You have the English words US and UK and uh, this is a you know, basic English dictionary and this dictionary contains uh, a little less than 80,000 lowercase words in combination of uh, UK and US spellings. You have the names dictionary, common uh, first names and surnames. Now this is a list of common uh, first names and surnames from both the Un United States, the United Kingdom, Europe, and Asia. And I believe there's um, uh, over 500 in total. Each name is tried separately and then uh, and then is various combinations which results in somewhere around 165,000 different combinations. You've got the random password section or dictionaries and depending on the settings chosen this will generate different random passwords based on a combination of letters, symbols, and numbers. And then the rest of the entries you may see here, uh, such as my index, uh, these are just the search indexes that I've created in these particular case. So if, if in your case that you're working in, you have created an index with OS Forensics, we give you that ability to uh, use those indexes that you've created uh, as a dictionary itself as well. 
So for the purposes of this video, I'm simply going to select the common passwords list located here and the English words dictionary list to attack this password protected file and hoping that the password is, you know, isn't very complex. So once I've made my selections, I'll simply select start, which is located down here, and allow OS Forensics to perform the operation, which you will see it does so at a relatively you know, very fast rate of speed. And as you see, OSF has successfully performed the decryption on a password protected zip file, not just bypassing the password, but actually displaying and giving you the, the password, uh, which you know may be helpful in other uh, other files, maybe some online accounts that need uh, access to, etc. Now for those of you with experience in some of the other forensic decryption tools on the market, you should appreciate how simplistic and quick this process is in comparison to some of the, the more expensive tools out there. So let's take a go at another file. Let's choose the password protected PDF this time. and we'll leave our dictionary settings the same and once we've made that selection and we've added that um, PDF file we'll hit start again and we'll see again here in just a few moments how uh, OS Forensics can successfully decrypt password protected PDFs in basically just a matter of seconds uh, and there we go let me see our password ASDFGH. So let's go for one more and let's choose one this time from outside of the case actually so you can get a look at uh, how we do that. So we'll click on uh, after hitting browse we'll click on that hyperlink I noted earlier that states other devices available which will take us to our local machine you know, in a Windows Explorer type uh, interface and we'll navigate to an encrypted file and simply bring it in this way so whether that was located somewhere you know on your desktop as uh, this is or maybe a root of your C or just anywhere uh, on your local machine you can access it this way so let's grab the password protected Word document and we'll leave our dictionary settings the same and one more time we'll hit the start and to decrypt the Word document. In a few moments here we'll see OS Forensic successfully decrypts this file just like all the other ones and there we have it and password is secret. Now, you've probably noticed this checkbox here uh, this whole time that says use GPU. And now this is a, another great feature that we've added to version 4, which allows users who have nice dedicated you know, GPUs or you know, the graphics processing units in their computers to utilize the core strength of the GPU instead of the machine's CPU which we currently relied upon for this task. So often found in nice gaming computers and forensic workstations, high-end GPUs are much faster at decryption processes than CPUs, uh, mainly due to the fact they have far more processor cores than CPUs have, which of course is beneficial to the decryption. And finally, one other option you see here is the edit random button. Now, clicking this will bring up an options window that only applies if the random passwords dictionary uh, was selected. And these options allow a user to select a character range between 1 and 12 
and choose specific sets for each character and the passwords. And this also allows you see this known value. Uh, so this is also a nice place, you know, if, if uh, a user knows any of the characters within the password, um, this is that location where you can input those known characters at that at that time. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, you can brute force attack password protected documents and uh, the different file types that we went through using OS Forensics very simply, very easily, and just like everything else that we do, we uh, design it in such a way that really anyone can perform these tasks with the tool. I also want to mention quickly uh, before we end that we do allow you to create uh, or bring in your own dictionary files within OS Forensics as well. So you can add more dictionaries to that um, set list that we looked at. In order to do this, you will need to create two files in Passmark's program data directory uh, that you'll find located on the root of your C drive. But for more information, the step by steps, uh, step by step instructions on this procedure and others, please visit the OSF help file uh, located on our website here at osforensics.com. Simply select the support tab here, and then you will see the help file section located about uh, midways down the page. And we have a PDF version of our help file, which is basically the OS Forensics Manual uh, that you can get 100% free of charge uh, available here for you. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. For more information, you can email us at info at passmark.com or visit us on the web anytime at www.osforensics.com.